Airports Company South Africa released its financial results for the year ended March 31st. AXA CFO Maureen Manyama Matome speaks to Engineering News about the company's performance. The company performed or delivered 1.7 billion rents in profit after tax, and that is mainly attributable to the growth in our revenue, both in the aeronautical side and non-aeronautical side. And also there has been a decline over the years on the finance cost relating to the borrowings that we have made. And some uh, positive results is attributable to the tax benefits that we've got on the write-offs and some uh, on the right, uh, bad debt write-offs and the capital allowances. It is in line with uh, with our expectations, and also to further highlight that you know we are on the fourth year of our permission cycle. So some of the benefits th these are basically benefits of the 17 billion rand capital uh, investment project that we embarked on before 2010. The government targets that are set it's uh, through the KPI on the shareholders compact. We actually achieved 94% and the one that we do not achieve on is on job creation. The job creation is only it's also linked to the capital expenditure spend which uh, basically assesses the job opportunities that, it, that we have created through our spend. And as a result of us not reaching our target in that regard, it has resulted in us not meeting that KPI. First and foremost, 64% of the AXA business is actually regulated. So we want to, to place less reliance on the regulated business. So as a result, hence we pursue other ventures outside of the regulated environment. And this relates to our commercial business. And on the commercial side, we also derive you know, uh, positive benefits even from our retail, retail stores, the properties that we, we lease out, the car parking, and also the investment that we've got in Brazil, in India and we will be pursuing some within the emerging markets and also internationally as the opportunities present themselves.